What up, YouTube dudes? What's going on, y'all, man? Is you guys ready? We got Trailer Park Boys, Season 6, Episode 3. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Check out the playlist. Let's go. You know what? Everyone in this park has changed. I don't know what's going on. I mean, Lucy's banging cops now, and it's no big deal, I guess. I mean, I don't run Lucy. She's for to be your own woman, but nah, for me now, broke. I'm just going to concentrate on my business, trying to get that going better, and get my dad working for me again, and basically show Corey and Trevor how to run a fucking business, because those dicks and their little fucking stupid store are starting to piss me off. I mean, all they do is sit around and get stoned eating gummy wares watching Channel 10. For Channel You're 10, a hater, Local man. Business Live, I'm Steve Rogers. If you'd like to have a local business profile live on Channel 10, please give me a call. I'm Steve Rogers. Hi, Mr. Rogers. Ricky it's Corey and Trevor from Corey and Trevor's Convenience Store here in Sunnyvale. We've opened the first independent convenience store. Maybe you can put us on your show. Hey, Corey and Trevor's Convenience could really use the support of Channel 10. And I love your show, man. Thanks. Ricky's a hater, though. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Rogers, nice to speak to you like this. Anyway, I'm calling about a new business I'm opening called the Kitty Land Love Center. It's a cat daycare center, and I'd like to get the word out that I'm open for business. And I'm calling from the Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Uh, do you know Corey and Trevor from Corey and Trevor's Convenience? Yeah, I know those dickweeds. Well, as a matter of fact, we're going to be heading up there live at 4 and 5 to do a profile with them. How about we go live with Kitty Land at... Uh, 6.30? The magazine show? 6.30 tonight? You gonna be a hater too? Ricky. Don't tell Ricky. Ah, oh, Ricky's gonna be a hater. What in the name of sweet fuck are you doing? Lucy wanted the stuff off for Lawn Bubbles. There's nowhere else to put it. It's still good. I'm not gonna throw it out. Oh my god, Ricky, I've got Channel 10 coming here to do a live news story. What do you mean Channel 10? They're going to do a story on Corey and Trevor, but they're coming to do one on Kitty Land in less than six hours, Ricky. I can't have all this garbage here. Look, there's piss jugs in here. With the TV uh. coming, Ricky? Do you know how fucked up that would be? You can't have a TV program that uh. shows piss jugs. Oh, that's Bubs. so gross. Man. I mean, I'm starting my own business, too, called Garbage Land. Garbage Land. Garbage Land. Ricky! All Ricky did was take a perfectly good name that I came up with, Kitty Land, stuck his name Garbage on the front of it and came up with Garbage Land. This is Officer Jim Leahy, ex-Officer Jim Leahy, doing surveillance on Julian, who appears to be renovating his trailer with stolen building materials and tools. For the purposes of this surveillance, I will appear to be intoxicated, but I am, in fact, sober. This, for the record, is iced tea. Begin surveillance. Corey, here. Hey, maybe I can keep those boxes for Trevor? Yeah. He ain't have a dog dish. Drinking have a dog dish like a dog. Hey. This Randy asked me if I fixed Bill and Alvina's lattice work. Some little shit's kicked it in. I need some three inch galvanized iridox sponge. You got me? Nails, let's go. Hey, Jules, you want a little drink? You look for it, Jim. You sure, bud? Blahey gave me your number. I'm here with the uh, truck. We'd like to do a live profile on several of your residents who have their own small business. I have the live truck. We'd like to ask you to help us coordinate the production tonight. This is friggin' Ricky, isn't it? Well, I'm not falling for any more of your dumb tricks, Ricky. No more of your bullshit. I know you friggin' ruined the cheeseburger picnic. Randy, this is Steve Rogers. I can see you. You're not wearing a shirt. Take a look out your window. Take a second to get yourself together, bud. I'm Steve Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, he'll be Rogers. out any minute, I'm sure. I'm and Steve I Rogers. know he will do his very best to help you and... Any way that he can, so if there's anything that he doesn't come up with, you just let me know and I'll I certainly will. Be happy to. I certainly will. 
My apologies, it really is you. No problem, Randy. I'm Steve Rogers. Who's Ricky? Oh, he's this jerk who lives here. Thinks uh, he's so Randy, big. Randy, I want you to take Mr. Steve Rogers and show him around the park. Help him if with his broadcast in any way you can. It's a great opportunity for Sunnyvale. Live television, Randy. Is there a problem, Randy? Well, it's just that there's these guys who live here who cause trouble, right, Barb? Well, they're not there. With well, those guys around, I don't think it's a great idea to go live. Look, Randy, I'm a journalist. I've been a journalist for a while now. I know news. I know good news stories. I can take care of myself. I just need someone to show me around the park, help me tap into the cable so we can go live. Do you think you can handle that? Good. Let's do it. It is just amazing the way you can set up just Here's anywhere. Campbell. I'm Steve Rogers, broadcasting live from Sunnyvale Trailer Park tonight in high definition. More on that later. We'll meet Corey and Trevor and talk about their brand new convenience store here in the park. And later, we'll meet Bubbles and talk about his cat daycare center, the Kitty Land Love Center. All this at five. Isn't this technology amazing? This is definitely going on my reel. Okay, Horatio, Danny, let's go to our next location, the uh, convenience store. How's it going, Randy, man? Not too good, Mr. Leahy. Ricky threw a bunch of piss jugs up on my roof. Running the park isn't as easy as you thought it would be, is it, boy? I think I'm running it better than you ever did, Mr. Leahy. Oh, is that right, Randy? That's my lunch. Look, I need some work done. I don't have time to stand around here and argue with you. I need two things done. Number one, go around the park and collect all the piss jugs and take them to the dump. Get rid of them. They can't be seen on TV. Number two, you can't be seen on TV. You're too drunk, Mr. Leahy. It's an embarrassment to this park. Look, Barb's really excited about this. Now go collect the piss jugs. All right. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Ricky, I don't know about this. I'm starting to think maybe we should just clear all your stuff out and just focus on Kitty Land. Bubbles, what are you talking about? This is my business. This is my life now. We tell them about. You promised, if I organize this and get it all together, that I could go on Channel 10 and promote it. Yeah, but Ricky, Steve Rogers is a powerful man. I don't know if you realize that. Like, if this gets screwed up, it could ruin everything. It's not going to get screwed up. How could it? Well, you just promised me you'll use some sense of decorum on the TV. Well, so what do you worry about? Of course they use decorum on the TV. Some people say my dad's fucked because he lives at the goddamn dump, but... Let me tell you this, my dad's not fucked. He's taught me a lot of good stuff. And one Your thing he taught me fucked, recently bro. is that one man's garbage is another man's person's good on garbage. Oh, now he's about to go dump him over here. Where his home is. Hell yeah. Karma. Jimmy. <laughs> hey. How are you doing here? I'm uh, just throwing some piss jugs for Randy. Oh, yeah? Okay. You working here now? Uh, no. No, Jimmy, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I live here now, you know. Oh. Randy thing in the park, so I moved out, you know. So. Nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, you know. Come along, check it out. Uh, TV, satellite TV, 100 channels, at least, you know. Hey, you should check out Channel 10 this afternoon. Uh, Steve, uh. Steve Rogers. Right. Yeah? Coming yeah. live from Sunnyvale. Oh, wait. You going to be on? No. Uh, new business is Bubbles and Kitty Land and Ricky. Oh, yeah. Ricky's doing the garbage thing there, right? right. It's doing good. It's great. And you got it's garbage there. The time for you. Yeah, oh, garbage no, no, no. hat. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, I'll figure out uh, something else to do with these piss jugs, right? Appreciate it, buddy. That'd be great. Listen, uh, here. Got a few more. You don't mind check, taking these with you? That'd be great. Just put them in your car there, if that's all right. Just stick them in the back here like that, is that all right? That's great, man. So, uh... Channel 10. Channel 10, I'll be watching. Listen, uh, that'd be great. So, uh, Jimmy, just do me one. Just, uh... You know, just don't tell anybody I'm living here, okay, buddy? Hey, no problem, but... Yeah, right. You got to tell everybody. So look, if I put a little independently owned convenience store, hi guys, tell me how you got started. Hi. Well, we were hanging out down at the store a lot, and Dean said we couldn't hang out, then we have to find someplace else to hang out, so we were just like, screw this, let's just start our own store right here in the park. Fucking stupid those guys look. Oh my god, look at Trevor, he looks like an alien. <laughs> yeah, so what's you got uh, for you these days? I'm glad you asked that, Steve. Our top sellers are our single cigarettes. And these brand new DVDs, and they're all new because they haven't even been out yet. 
Corey just admitted they're selling illegal DVDs. That's brilliant, Corey. Well, let me get this straight. You're selling ripped DVDs and individual cigarettes. Now, you know that's illegal, right? Oh, well, can we take this again and we won't talk about all the illegal stuff? We'll talk about some of the legal items like air fresheners. No, no, guys, we're live here. Like, I profile real businesses on this show. We are a real business. Okay, excuse me. This store is not involved in any illegal activities, including selling single cigarettes for 65 cents each. We're open 9 to 6, Monday to Saturday. Let's go. Come on. I'll have to apologize to our serious business viewers. I don't know how a store like this could possibly exist. I should have done my homework. Let's, perhaps we'll ask that question to Randy. Randy, here's the associate trailer park supervisor. Were you aware of the illegal Look activities? at that. Randy sucked his guy in. Did you see that? Yeah. I'm not responsible for Corey and Trevor. He looks extra hairy on TV, too. You freaking idiot hey. fuck lips. What's Who the fuck was it? Just like, 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 celebrities. Like, <laughs> just people. Oh, uh, here we go. Tear the party tray. My producer, Thank Bert Helmatch. The trash on the ground. Right. Mr. Helmatch? I met you one other time, Steve. He covered the election here, and Sam was there with his big blockhead. Of course, yeah, I remember that one. This is a kitty land, huh? Yeah, it is, but first I'm gonna go first, just show you a few things over here. All right, folks? It's okay, he goes first on this. All right, let's set it up. That should be on any time now. Randy, how many squares have you had? Well, you put them out for eating, didn't you? There were two dozen squares there, Randy. Oh, look, it's coming. Hang on. Welcome to a very That's special story. broadcast of the Live Eye on Local Business. I'm Steve Rogers. With me right now, one of the owners of a brand new cat daycare center here at Sunnyvale. Rick, how did this business plan come together? Well, actually, I'm not one of the owners of the uh, cat daycare. I got my own business called Ricky's Use Shit. I mean, it's not shit. I got some really good stuff here that I'm selling. I go around and collect them and I sell them for money. And, you know, you can pick something like this out of the garbage and sell that for a buck. You make some good cash. It's barbecue here. Oh, fucking garbage. It's kind of difficult when you're on live TV. I can't predict a <laughs> bee attack in the middle of stuff going on. Just a second. Oh, you, you fucking crap. Roger, here, get that on, George. Rick, come on. Talk about right, TV, right, man, right. you think? Well, I wasn't done, Bubs, but yeah, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Oh, by the way, I heard a little rumor that there's uh, a certain ex trucker living in the dump. How's it feel to be a loser, right? Living in the dump. You'll get yours, buddy. <laughs> so, was that a loser? Yeah. Just like oh, you know, man. That's fucked up. Rick, you want to make something of it? Yeah, yeah, that's the father of your child. Huh. <laughs> you serious? You want to do it with What the? What are you doing? Get off it, Ricky! You're just a loser, Rick. Start just like your old man. <laughs> oh, shit. Bubbles. <laughs> this is not what the Kitty Land Love Center is about. There's young, down, not usually Calm drunk down. people with best drugs here. I don't take good care of your kitty. I'm just a glove. <laughs> kitty Land Love Center at Sunnyvale Trailer Park. I may as well just go back to hauling carts. Because Kitty Land, there's no fucking way anybody's going to bring a kitty down to that place. Drunk trailer park supervisors rolling around with piss jugs on a hockey stick. Come down to Kitty Land, but will fuck look after your cat big time. I will. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's fucked up, man. What y'all think about that? Bullshit, right? Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe.